Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about why I changed my mind about prime lenses in general and why I chose these three Sigma Art lenses to build off my kit. So let's talk about that. So being a filmmaker, YouTuber, and just general content creator, I always found myself preferring zoom lenses when it came to more run and gun stuff because I always found myself, you know, not wanting to worry too much when I'm just out shooting. If I wanted a specific focal length, I could just turn it at a moment's notice. And that's what zoom lenses are great for. They're great for versatility and they allow you to get a bunch of shots really quickly. So that's why I really like zoom lenses. I had the Sigma 18 to 35. I have the Sigma 50 to 100 right here, and they have been great lenses. They still offer the same quality pretty much as these prime lenses. However, I began to find myself, you know, adjusting the zoom lens constantly, whether I'm like moving back and forth, trying to find the right compression, right depth or whatever, getting how much background I want in my video. I was kind of like always doing this whole thing, zooming in and out with my feet and with the zoom lens. So that added a layer of complexity to it all. Whereas with prime lenses, you have one adjustment and that is with your body. So everyone knows a 24 millimeter, 35 millimeter, 50 millimeter focal lengths. You want a wide, go with a 24, you want a close up, a 50, somewhere in the middle, a 35, that's fantastic. However, I found myself wanting to learn these focal lengths in more detail, have a more connection to them. And what that allows me to do is now when I go on set or if I'm you know, even filming an interview, I'll see the image in a specific focal length and I can call out a lens. I want a 24 for this shot right here, placed right here. I know the exact distance I wanna be and I can set up a tripod, boom, ready to go. And that has really changed the way I've kind of started shooting. Whereas, you know, I would generally know which focal length, maybe it'd be an 18, maybe it'd be a 24. I was never really precise, but having just, you know, a few lenses here, I'm able to really maximize and visualize the shot beforehand, even when it's a run and gun scenario. Now, there's some obvious downsides to this approach. Of course, you still need to swap out your lens. That does take time. But if you can learn your focal lengths, you don't need to, you won't be fine, you won't find yourself wanting to switch lenses all the time. You'll know, okay, I wanna grab all my wide shots, I'll do the 24. After I got my general B-roll, I'm gonna to switch to the 50 now, get some close-ups. There you go. It's great when you know and visualize those focal lengths, but if you're working with other people who maybe are asking you which lens or telling you which lens to use. Um, sometimes they'll have you say, oh, put a 24 on there and you'll put on 24, but like, nah, I really want a 35. And then you end up swapping lenses all day long, which is not fun. And that's the exact reason to avoid that. But again, if you're a solo shooter or even if you're training or like, you can find yourself really getting to know these focal lengths inside and out. And that's when you're gonna find yourself really seeing the shot ahead of time, saving time, setting it up perfectly, and that just adds to your overall skill set as a cinematographer or a filmmaker. So in the comment section below, I would love to hear your thoughts regarding lens choices, whether you have primes or zooms. I'd love just to hear your thought process on why you choose the lens you choose. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hope you like the new background as well. It's, um, it's a work in progress. There's some little things I wanna work out, but it will come very shortly. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later.